Even Jesus, not a good man, wonderful, not a good man. Whatever we are referring to as Jesus is not about some man two thousand years ago, it's about a certain possibility within every human being. So that has to rise. It's not that there is no Jesus in you, it's just you kept him hung, impotent. He needs little empowerment, he needs to be raised. So the whole effort is that part of you which we can call Jesus or Shiva or whatever you like, to allow that to rise. Can you say Shiva is a good man? No, but he's fantastic. Even Jesus, not a good man, wonderful, not a good man. Anybody who disturbs the existing situation is not a good man, isn't it? Yes or no? In any given situation, someone who disturbs your family situation, somebody who disturbs your social situation or political situation, national or international situation, is not a good man in that society, isn't it so? So Jesus is not a good man. Maybe he's wonderful but not a good man. Shiva, definitely not a good man, but fantastic he is. If you don't let, let that man rise within you, if you do not let that aspect rise within you, then you will remain good and dead. Dead is good, dead is always good, yes or no? Once it happened, a five-year-old boy and his mother went to the cemetery. He had never seen a cemetery in his life, this is the first time. The mother was dedicated to one particular grave, she sat down. The boy went about everywhere, reading all the inscriptions on the tombstones. He went through the whole cemetery, read everything and came back to his mother and asked his mother, Mom, where do they bury all the horrible people? Every tombstone says this was the most wonderful man. Dead is always good, isn't it? Dead is good, living is trouble. <laughs> because living is trouble, we reduce the living to half dead. Fifty percent life is safe. That's where most people have settled. We must decide, dead or alive. Half dead is not good, isn't it? Once Shankaran Pillai was arrested for mixing horse meat in chicken cutlets and selling. So when he went uh, to the court, there was nothing else to do, so he pleaded guilty. And they asked, how much horse meat and chicken meat, how did you do? He said, fifty-fifty I did. So he got some fine and some kind of thing and then he came out. His friend asked him, what did you mean by saying fifty-fifty? He said, the one horse, one chicken <laughs> So, this mixture won't work. You have to raise the dead. You really have to raise the dead. That part of you which has been kept dead for too long, it's time to raise it.